Let's show some matches I won against top 50 players in the global ranking of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. So by the way, I'm glad to inform you that since this week, again, Play365 and Wi-Fi Studios, the developers of Tennis Clash, uh, we are partners in a program that will benefit both the channel and the game. So, note as well that you may have seen some of those matches previously on Gameplay365 channel, as this video is just putting the Wings vs. Top 50 plays on together. They are not new matches. I hope I can have one day enough experience in attributes to compete with those Top 50 players on a level playing field right now. I'm still way below them in terms of total power and can surely not compete on long term. So, we start this game. Um, the series of matches against Vida is uh, pretty well known. If you play in the, in the Tour 7 and the Tour 8, well, I have some stroke of luck in this match. Obviously, you need sometimes. You need those strokes of luck sometimes. Not here because it was way out. First, well, he was playing with the nylon string, and and even with that, he was he was mucking me totally. But but after this match, well, um, I don't know if there is a coincidence, but I have never faced him with a nylon string again. Yeah, I have already always seen him um, with at least a choker corn. Okay. So I take advantage of my total twine, the critical hit, to uh, even if it's not producing the critical effect, is it gives a bit more power to uh, to hit when I'm not outflanking, of course, when my cycle accuracy is not too far from the uh, from the uh, spot where the Vidas hits. Okay, of course, obviously, I was thinking that uh, I was going to be. Uh, be defeated, but well, I keep insisting and keep trying, and well, then the miracle was it's going to produce. Okay, so not as well that the top 50 ranking was the ranking of my opponents at the time I play versus them. I don't know right now where they are in the global ranking, so if you look for them right after having watched this video, you may not see some of them there. But they should not be far from top 50 anyway, if they are out of it. Well, for Vida, that's sure he still is in the top 50, even in the top 20, I think. Okay, so I still... Um, why, why do I say that I am not playing on an even level field? Um, than them because uh, I still need the haters threats and the lunges cards that's for my lineup I'm not saying that uh, they are useful for all t top 50 lineups but for to play versus them uh, it's useful they all has they all have the uh, haters threats those uh, red shoes and if you use the serve a bit like me um, you need the lunges card so I still need as well to level up the cabo low and um and the koi. I still need to bring my Victoria to level twelve as well because a lot of those top fifty players, those who play with Victoria have them at level twelve. Okay, so here's again Vida trying with the volley volley style. Okay. So uh, this match, this match, this match was uh, taking place uh, very shortly after the the other one. Just so he was testing, probably some style. And well, when you do tests, obviously you may face some disappointments. And it looks like he he was on a, a kind of a, a bad streak during uh, those uh, test matches and that volley is not totally the, the perfect style for, for him because the uh, the other times I have played against Vida it was always always um, versus a Kaito counter punch uh, style so the volley was purely a test I think 
Oh my gosh, I made I made so many inaccurate hits there. You have already seen me play versus uh, volley players, and you know that I'm I'm not used to uh, to play those inaccurate hits. Anyway, I like I still <laughs> like to do uh, doing those cross court returns, and sometimes to vary some down the line big forehands. And yeah, after those two matches, I those kind of test matches for Vida, I never saw him um, play with the uh, the nylon string versus me. So that is for Vida, but I, I face Vida less often than um, Halep. Unfortunately, I have no victory <laughs> against Halep yet. Halep is very, very, very tight opponent, really. And he's playing always with Kaito, you know. He's specializing a bit in uh, the counter punch side, and he plays that style almost perfectly. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, ranking again to verify a bit uh, where. Uh, yeah, he has gone. Vida has gone down. He had gone down after this match again compared to the. Uh, the other, the previous, the previous match where he had uh, a higher total of trophies. Well, let's open this bag. Yeah, so, so this is another style, an aggressive baseliner one. So obviously, I'm going to play differently. And well, I have, uh, I have changed a bit. The way of fitting I and this opponent has a, a pattern which is quite easy to uh, to read. He likes to to make drop shots after my serves while while returning myself. So you need to be close to the net most of the time. I mean, not all the time, of course. Sometimes he will vary. He or she, I don't know. Um, well. Let's say she this is Victoria. She will vary because um, when she sa when she sees that she's not obviously she's not a beginner. So when she sees that I have read my the, her pattern, she will try to hit uh, big forehands instead of doing drop shots, and then uh, she will go back to drop shots or soft shots. So sometimes, yeah, obviously you need some strokes of luck sometimes. Your opponent has to do some errors somehow during the matches. You know, if she, if your opponent plays always perfectly, that's very hard to, to win the system. Yeah, that was a bit lucky for me there. But for some others, yeah, other strokes, that was not lucky. For this one, I was really, I was placed very badly. Okay, let's try and hit that hard on return and follow up with a critical forehand towards the corner. I was I was having a bad internet connection, really. Wow, yep. It was a heavy return, it was out. In the LA. It's nice. Okay, so I have um I have used mostly the all-round uh, style to beat those top 50 players, and uh, sometimes you will see myself at 55, sometimes uh, at 48. This is a change made um, with the agility. So if I have 55 serve. I would have a lower agility of 41. And if I have 48 of serve, I will have a 46 agility. Okay, so as you can see, I am changing a bit the way of hitting balls. Yeah, those counter punches, they they all hit very well. 
all balls, even if um, you know Kaito don't doesn't have a very very good forehand or backhand, very not very powerful. But the thing is, you gotta return their hits somehow. You have to try to survive first, and then whenever the opportunity appears, try to hit. I think that he he got some lag problem there. Boom, yeah, obviously you have to attack as well. And try and play the uh, percentage tennis by holding your serve whenever possible. And to attack, to be aggressive on on the return of their serve. Yeah, the counter punch players um, lose their stamina very fast if you attack them a lot if you succeed in outflanking them. So to outflank them obviously is uh, it's easier with uh, with an aggressive baseliner style than uh, if you use a counter punch style. Of course, if it was using Kaito to play versus uh, this Kaito, it would be another match, another style. It would not be so fun, I think, to watch. All oh right, I wasted my first match points there, and that was way too far for the court. That's cool. You need that. You need that. Well, I think that um, a lot of those top fifty players were not so motivated, not so focused during the matches, and that's the uh, that's the advantage when you have a lower trophy than them. A, a pretty Tower. Uh, because they um, they are a bit, uh, I think, overconfident first. And then I'm not I'm not sure that they are all under underestimating, you know, us uh, players having lower trophies. But it's not really a problem of underestimation. Uh, it's it's rather. The overconfidence. That's the, that's the contrary. They uh, they are very experienced players. They have played very tough matches, and they can they, they can say to themselves, "Come on, it's just another one of another normal matches." So they are not so focused. I think that they play much more. Um, well, with a m much higher incentive when they play against another top 50 players and they they commit a bit uh, a bit less um, errors probably and well generally I I play not too bad against the volley players so I'm not very very surprised when I play versus uh, a high highly ranked uh, volley player anyway So this this kind of victory against the volley players it doesn't surprise me much. Well of course sometimes they just volley me perfect drop shots, I can't do nothing. Especially with this um kind of all rounder sign where I don't have a tremendous agility but well I compensate with uh, a big forehand. And if you play this forehand accurately with a, a good string to give you power, then well, even a 73 HDD and 76 volley can't do nothing to catch those uh, balls flying to touch the sideline. So this one is not a Tour 7 match. It was um, a match that I made during my warm-up session. You know, I always play uh, warm-up matches in the lower tour one in the tour five, one in the tour six and then I play all remaining matches in the tour seven. This is to warm up my fingers. But well uh apparently Jim Lahey was warming up as well. I can't see any other reason to have him there. 
he anticipated the other way there. He was wrong footed. Okay, see, and well, that was quite obviously uh, a warm up for him because uh, his hits were not very accurate. And mine, well, they were a bit surprisingly accurate for the first match of the day there. Yeah, you need to be accurate anyway if you want to outflank a Kaito having high agility. You can't hop to outflank him. Otherwise, you know, you have nothing to lose. I'm a, a good position, you know, when you play against those top 50 players because they have everything to lose. They have the ranking to lose. They have a reputation, a kind of reputation to hold. And uh, they have a psychological ascendance. Um, uh, they they have they have uh, a better confidence in their uh, own experience and and talent and skills. I mean, but uh, yeah, I was playing with the nylon string. That was just a just a, a warm up match. So I was a bit surprised anyway to uh, to face him there. So. He had a lower total no trophy after this uh, defeat, of course. Yeah, let's just take a look. But uh, he has he has gone down. Obviously, due to this defeat. Due to this defeat. But beforehand, he was in the top fifty. Before the uh, before this defeat, okay. As you can see, there are several. Only it's a matter of uh, like twenty twenty points between the top sixty and the top fifty. Sometimes it's a matter of one match. Sixty six point three percent of win rate. But I I don't watch uh, all ranking of uh, of players but I uh, in this video and well I, I was a bit curious to yeah he was switching to Victoria just after the match that's why we see her he, him with Victoria when I uh, when I was looking at the profile in tennis clash global ranking okay so let's play another volley player she was a bit uh, confident too, playing with the nylon string. And this time I play a bit more accurately. Not really on the serve. I, uh, I have improved a bit my, my serve things, but you know, it's still not very good. So as you can see, versus volley players, I don't have a very hard time. Of course, I have my losses. Um, a lot of volley players of the top 50 are very, very good. And sometimes they, you know, it happens that they they don't they don't anticipate the good uh, the good way. They are not they don't place their character the in a good spot, or they they move a bit slowly their characters, or or very simply that they. I hit my returns a bit too fast, um, and they they just can't have the time enough time to to move their character because, you know, the um, the game is kind of blocking your character whenever your your opponent has started moving. So this is a golden tiebreak. Can't believe that. Yep, I couldn't believe that when I won that match seven zero. Well, generally, I, I am, I am thinking more about something like if I win versus volley players, having high agility and volley uh, skill, uh, volley attribute. I am thinking more about seven four or seven three, but or seven five, but not uh, seven zero. Surely not. Okay. 
Let's take a look. Yeah. She has gone down in the ranking of it after this uh, defeat. Yep, he, she went up to f to the max 3,800 trophies previous once. Well, this is my lineup. I hope you enjoy watching me um, have some victories against top 50 players in the global ranking of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.